Last week, I attended the 18th International Conference on the Origin of Life. This conference attracts origin of life researchers from around the world who try to explain the origin of life through chemical evolution. And I had a chance to interact with a number of them, many of them atheists. And when I told them that I worked for Reasons to Believe, an organization that looks to find harmony between science and the Christian faith, they were shocked because they have bought into this popular narrative that there is conflict between science and the Christian faith. But is that really the case? I'm joined today by Dr. Darren Williams, who is a Christian and has a PhD in physical chemistry. In fact, Dr. Williams has taught for over 20 years at a university level. Dr. Williams is gonna help us to address this question, is there conflict between science and the Christian faith? Uh, Darren, what would you say to somebody who says, I think there's conflict between science and Christianity? Well, if I came right out and said, absolutely, there's no conflict, people wouldn't believe me because they see conflict all the time. But what I think they're seeing is conflict, conflict between scientists and Christians. And so I don't think that science in general or the Christian faith or truth claims are in conflict at all. But I think people will bring in this conflict. They will see uh, Christians as being in another group. They may not understand what is being claimed or talked about, and they'll stand in their perceived group, which would be an atheistic scientism community, and they'll throw darts at each other. And I don't see that at all from, from my upbringing in the, in the Christian faith and my interest in science that there's any conflict at all. So then what you're saying is, that the conflict has to do more with a misunderstanding uh, rather than uh, really inherent conflict between the ideas that are part of Christianity and part of a, a scientific worldview, if you will. Right. I think you'll hear many times sort of this baseline opinion that, that skeptics may have that says belief in God is unreasonable. But what's interesting is the Christian faith will actually ground reasonableness in God's very nature, mm -hmm. that the universe is logically constructed, that you have uh, uh, repeatable phenomena that are caused by other events. All of these things that we classify as reason is rooted in the reasonableness of God. And so it's really interesting to say that, that belief in God is unreasonable when reasonableness from a Christian worldview is godly behavior. It's saying belief in God is ungodly. <laughs> well, I mean, that's really interesting because, I mean, it, it suggests on the other hand then that maybe if you're looking at nature from a, a naturalistic slash atheistic perspective, mm -hmm. you actually may have a problem on your hand related to reasonableness. Right. I think that, that we see that when... Uh, Atheists start to say that um, we now know there's no free will and those kinds of things. If you throw those kinds of claims out there, you're cutting off the branch that you're sitting on. Uh, you're using reason and you're using free will to make logical conclusions based upon evidence to then say that there is no such thing as free will. It's, it just is a, is a conundrum for someone who doesn't ground uh, decision-making, reasonable conclusions and so on in some order of the universe. Now, uh, you are, again, a Christian and a scientist. You mm -hmm. see harmony between these two areas. How has your belief system as a Christian impacted your work as a scientist? Well, it, it probably would be surprising to hear, but my uh, Christian worldview, my really more recently, my diving into a Christian apologetics has made me better, better a better scientist, a better thinker, uh, picking up and filling in deficits in my education in terms of philosophy and theology. And it has gotten richer, not mm. poorer. So I've become, I guess, more careful in how I define my terms. I want others to define their terms carefully as well so that we can know what we're talking about. So it's made me better in all of those areas. 